confirmed one Palestinian man has been killed, who they believe to be among the suspects. Several others in custody. Our Middle East correspondent Michael Pluchak reported from Janine where that operation unfolded overnight. I'm in the neighborhood of Wadi Burkin in Janine. The West Bank, and this was the site of an extensive firefight late last night between Israeli armed forces and Palestinian militants. What's behind me right now is one of three houses, one of three houses that were demolished in the process uh, of the fighting last night. Uh, armed forces, Israeli armed forces, came into this neighborhood following intelligence that they received, looking for one uh, Palestinian assailant named uh, Ahmed Nasser Jarrar. That uh, that search developed into a firefight, the end of which three houses were demolished. One one person was killed, but exactly who was killed and who was arrested still remains uh, unclear. Uh, be, the the uh, Palestinian Health Ministry at first named one Ahmed Jar uh, Nasser Jarrar as the deceased, uh, but then afterwards named a uh, Ahmed Ismail Jarrar uh, instead, a different person but with a very, very similar name, creating confusion as to who exactly uh, was the person killed last night. Uh, we spoke to Ismail Jarrar, who is the owner of uh, the house where I'm standing right now, one of the three demolished. He said uh, that Thursday afternoon he received a call from Israeli authorities saying that within an hour and a half to two hours he would be receiving the body of his son back. That would be a different body than the one uh, the Israeli authorities were looking for when they came in here. So as of Thursday afternoon, there's still a lot of question marks uh, and very few answers as to the identity of who exactly was arrested and who exactly was killed here in Wadi Borkin, Jenin, in the West Bank. Earlier today, Yael Shevach, the widow of Rabbi Raz.